In an engaging video interview, highly respected investor Kathy Wood acknowledged that many people in the investment community might not fully understand the impact of Tesla's recent software upgrade for fully autonomous driving. She suggested that Tesla is making significant progress in this regard. Other interesting topics covered included renowned entrepreneur Elon Musk, his groundbreaking company Tesla, the well-known social media platform Twitter, and the exclusive content made available to devoted subscribers. The first price at which Wood's fund bought in Tesla was discussed, exhibiting her in-depth understanding of the industry and aptitude for spotting bright prospects what caught many people's attention was Wood's statement regarding the fund's investment and the lack of restrictions for accredited investors, they, which highlighted the accessibility and inclusivity of her investment strategy. This disclosure was a testament to her forethinking approach and her clear enthusiasm for empowering a diverse range of investors. Wood sought feedback from viewers on Elon Musk's role as the driving force behind Tesla's success and stated her excitement to perhaps purchase additional shares in the firm, demonstrating her everlasting trust in the company's future. This open-ended inquiry encouraged viewers to participate in the conversation by offering their opinions and sparked a vibrant discussion in the comments area, the topic of conversation. Intriguingly turned to Tucker Carlson's recent departure from Fox News and his subsequent move to Twitter. Many saw this momentous move as a sign of the profound changes taking place in the media landscape. The celebrity's departure from a traditional media platform to a more dynamic and interactive digital space hinted at the industry's evolving nature. Viewers found this observation thought-provoking and indicative of the shifting paradigms and the consumption and engagement of media. The report mentions in passing the sparse interaction on Twitter subscriptions, um, as evidenced by Elon Musk's tweet that garnered just 11 responses out of 1,000 views and 72 likes. The narrator expresses confidence in Elon Musk's success despite reports of decreased revenue in December. The narrator clarifies that they do not doubt Twitter's enormous potential and its ability to reshape the mainstream media landscape. This serves as a segue. Have any insider knowledge of the business and that their interactions with Musk are rare, but they think that Twitter's previous business model was unsustainable and did not generate enough revenue, so they expect Musk to successfully monetize the platform. Granted, Elon Musk's sudden firing of employees was shocking, but the company appears to be experiencing positive cash flow and their advertising efforts seem to be picking up again, albeit from a new starting point. Notably, they have let go of 80 employees. The interviewer in the video suggests that things may get worse before getting better, but there is optimism that things will eventually improve as a longtime investor in Musk through Tesla Kathy Woods shows her extreme disapproval of the claims made by the viewers and her admiration for Elon Musk's extraordinary ability to surround himself with intelligent people from a variety of firms, including SpaceX and Tesla. Modern day Renaissance man's Musk and physique, a visionary investor who continuously pushes the limits of what's feasible among must try numbers Kathy thinks that Tesla is the most important and influential AI project that has ever been created. But she also admits that some investors and Tesla owners might not completely understand the significance of the most recent software update that allows for fully autonomous driving. Kathy Wood is adamant that it advances the business toward its ultimate objective and considers the interviewer's doubt to be misplaced, the result of inadequate knowledge and insight, as well as a fairly forceful declaration. Although there is skepticism surrounding Elon Musk's Twitter activity, uh, Kathy asserts that the interviewer's line of questioning and analysis regarding Tesla stock completely misses the mark from her perspective because they lack the necessary knowledge and understanding of the subject matter. This statement demonstrates Kathy's confidence in Tesla's potential and her faith in Musk's leadership. When asked about Elon Musk's decision to not name a CEO for Twitter, Kathy Wood views it as a chance for interaction and reiterates her support for him. She understands the significance of his dedication to the platform and the excitement he creates, and she shares that enthusiasm in his content, which highlights her belief in the enormous potential for Tesla and the positive impact it can have on the world. Kathy Wood states that she expected this kind of action but just hours before the interview, Elon Musk shocked everyone by declaring on Twitter that he had appointed a new CEO for the platform. This move supports Cassie Wood's conjecture that Elon wants to take on an executive chair role and oversee software development system operations and house cleaning instead of arbitrarily censoring content. Now back to the autopilot TSA regulators are looking into the possibility of autopilot, and there's even talk of taking it off the road during a recall. As an investor, does this worry you? Autopilot is the heart of Tesla's promises. 
You worried, all right, let's hear from Kathy Wood. Starting with acknowledging the analysts who updated and aggressively revised the Tesla model, Kathy Wood begins by stating that the target price for 2027 is expected to be $2,400 compared to the current price of $170. During Tesla's investor day, the company highlighted the importance of autopilot, stating that a fully autonomous Tesla car is six times safer on the road than the average car, with accidents happening only once every 3.2 million miles, compared to five, double zero, triple zero miles for an average car. Even when comparing the new Tesla FSD with older models that do not have this capability, it is still six times safer than the average car and five times safer than previous Tesla models. While the number of fatalities has decreased over time as a result of safety measures like seat belts, Kathy Wood highlights the significance of focusing on fatalities and urges the National Highway and Safety Transportation Association to prioritize road safety. In just the last eight years, the figure has returned to 45,000. Although it's absurd that so many other fatal accidents occur on the road, Kathy wonders why Tesla accidents receive so much attention. However, every time a Tesla fatality is investigated, the driver is usually found to be at fault. Tesla cars are safer than most other cars overall thanks to their many sensors and monitoring systems, but there have been cases where people have crashed while using autopilot because they weren't paying attention. If you've ever used autopilot, you know you have to pay attention and keep your hands on the wheel. The autopilot functions have recently undergone an astonishing improvement that notifies you with beeps to help you stay focused. Despite this, I still firmly believe in Tesla. The mainstream media insists on asking leading questions to generate negative headlines. As well as water contamination, the Tesla Gigafactory is situated at the crossroads of Harold Green Road and State Highway 130, east of Austin. In the past, the neighborhood has been home to a large Spanish-speaking community and low-income families. It's uncertain if the factory jobs represent the socioeconomic composition of the surrounding community. The Colorado Rift close by, and if it overflows, it might cause a climate catastrophe. Despite the high chance of a recession, Tesla has created over 127000 jobs in just 10 years, and it is continually adding to its workforce. In the midst of widespread cutbacks in the tech industry, Tesla added 29,000 jobs. They try to spread nothing but negativity. These narrative pushers will become obsolete as alternative media gains traction. It's becoming clear that the majority of centralized and mainstream media outlets don't want you to think for yourself instead, they prefer to dictate what you should believe and perpetuate a single narrative. Instead, I encourage everyone to use their brains and think independently it may be simpler to agree with them but it's a risky game. That's about it for this video. Always use your head or at least try to please remember to subscribe to Tesla Insights so that you can stay updated and give this video a thumbs up to encourage the YouTube algorithm. Thank you.